So Judicial Watch is going to continue to pursue justice. We have the FOIA requests. We have the lawsuits. We will have new lawsuits based on the new information that's coming up. I'm convinced that if Judicial Watch hadn't been pressing for accountability from the deep state on Mueller and the Justice Department and the FBI, because you have to remember our criticisms of Mueller, when we were criticizing Mueller, when I was criticizing Mueller, when Judicial Watch is out there asking tough questions about what Mueller was up to, demanding accountability, calling it initially that Flynn was railroaded, we were alone. I don't mean literally, but practically speaking here in D.C., we were alone. I can tell you we made everyone nervous when we said things like that. The Justice Department was nervous. They were upset with us because we were asking them too many questions. You kind of saw that with uh, the Justice Department's relationship with Nunes and Jordan and Meadows. They were resisting information requests from them, too. But we were right about Mueller. We pressed and pressed and pressed. And I'm convinced that if we hadn't done this work in public education, uh, the president wouldn't be president. The president would not be president of the United States. They would have concocted something to remove him from office or, or set him up in a way that would have required his resignation like they did with Flynn. Convinced about, I'm convinced that, that, that our pressure, our education and our Dozens, dozens of FOIA lawsuits to get information made it impossible for them to do what they wanted to do. And it led eventually and, and, and President Trump is, uh, you know, rescued himself so many times. He deserves a medal for firing James Comey. What a corrupt public official James Comey was. He deserves a medal. Because as he's often pointed out, if he didn't fire Comey, we probably wouldn't know a lot about all of this because they would have just kept rolling along. And then thankfully, he brought a new leadership at the Justice Department. Because General Sessions had made this, these terrible decisions to recuse himself and just gave up defending the rule of law within his own agency. Because the Attorney General Barr came in and he saw immediately what was going on and said, we're done. And Mueller had to leave. Because if Barr hadn't come in, and I, I convinced Mueller would still be, he'd probably still be special counsel, or they'd have a, we'd still have the operation going, or he'd have a, you know, a successor, a perpetual special counsel for the president. You know, it's a close run thing, our country, in terms of our, whether we keep a republic or not. And I'm proud to say that Judicial Watch helps us keep the republic. And I want to thank you for your support that allows us to do this great work. So more is coming. More is coming. And uh, we got some great justice the other day, but we're not resting. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all the latest news from Judicial Watch.